Hello everybody, this is Reza Dorani, Microsoft Business Applications MVP. Today we'll, we will be doing a demo, a step-by-step -step walkthrough of the new UI Flows feature, which is currently in preview. UI Flows provides robotic process automation capabilities to Power Automate. You can leverage UI Flows to automate repetitive tasks, both in Windows applications as well as web applications. UI Flows records and plays back your user interface actions, your clicks, your keyboard inputs, etc., for applications that do not have ready to use available APIs. So if there are no APIs available in your legacy applications, or if you want to use something that's available on the web, you can quickly go ahead and utilize UI Flows RPA, robotic process automation features to record all the steps so that your, your flows can call UI flows and you can replay all the same actions again without involving any API. So in one of my previous videos, I will put the link to that video as well. I demoed UI flows with a desktop application. In this scenario, we are going to build UI flows for the web. And for this, we are going to use currency conversion. So how do we do that? If I go to, for example, buildbing.com, and if I want to convert from USD to INR, it's currently 70 rupees. So one United States dollar is 70 Indian rupees. So what I want to do right now is going to go ahead. I will go ahead and go to UI flows and click on new. And in this scenario, I'm going to select the web app. As you can see, this runs virtually on the latest versions of Edge and Google Chrome. So you either need Microsoft Edge Chromium or Google Chrome. There are specific prerequisites that you have to meet, wherein you need to go and install Selenium IDE. I will put the link to the prerequisites in the description of this video. So I'm going to pick web, hit next. I'm going to call this currency if I can spell it right, currency converter UI flow. And the base URL is the URL that you want to launch so that the Selenium IDE can start recording all your interactions with it. I'm going to do bing.com and click on launch the recorder. So this launches the Selenium IDE interface as you can see right here. Now I'm going to click on record and this will open bing.com because that's what I entered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first manually enter my steps. So USD to INR, and then I'm going to hit enter. This will take me to the screen, which has the value that I need to capture. Now, if you need to extract values, what you need to do is you need to go to command and look for store value. And then for the target, I'm going to select this little icon here, it says select target and page and then hover on the element that you're looking out for. It's basically reading the DOM at the moment. And once I click on it, it's going to give me the value. So right now it's looking, this value is available in the DOM in an element which has this ID. However, it has a, you need to analyze the DOM. I've already done it for this. So I know that within this, there is an input tag which has the actual value that I'm looking out for. Once you click on this, it will also tell you what are the other attributes that it has found. So you can go through this and just select it. Now, in this case, I know it is in the input attribute under the under this structure using export. So I'm just going to pick this. Selenium ID has already done all the groundwork for me. Now the value is the name of the parameter that you want to define. So I'm going to say uh, conversion rate. Okay, that's what I'm going to call this conversion. Let's put a space conversion rate all right i'm done with this i'm going to stop my recording now if you look at usd to inr this is hard coded i do not want to hard code so what i will do is i will replace this with input parameters and the way you define input parameters is you put a dollar symbol and uh, you will open and close curly braces and you need to name your variables right here so this is from I'm going to do the same thing and two. So basically I have two input parameters now that I have defined for my UI flow from and to, and there is one output parameter that I have defined called conversion rate. Okay. Now, uh, just to, uh, go back to the previous option, USD to INR, 
if I click on play, this will actually go ahead and play the same scenario for me. But if you notice, it did not get the enter key. Actually, it does enter it, but for some reason, it puts the enter key, but for some reason, it doesn't go through. So what I observed is, again, it's a little bit of a hack. Uh, if I go to this action and if I copy this, I can also paste this. And then, so I've got two enter actions here. And the first one, I'm gonna replace this by space. So this will actually put a space character in there. For some reason, this works. So if I play this, uh, let me get this right here, just to prove my point again. I'm gonna play this one out and it's opening out in another window. But as you can see, it quickly just takes me to the location. It goes in, it plugs in the values, puts a space, and then hits enter, and then takes me to the screen that I'm looking out for. Okay, great. So one little hack here, I got the output, and I'm going to go back and put my input parameters because I don't want to hard code USD to INR, unless that's your use case. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on save to save the Selenium IDE recording, and you need to wait for it to also save in the UI flow. So as you can see, my UI flow is right here. It says currency converter UI flow. Look at the symbol, clearly shows it's on the web. It also says the type is web selenium. The other applications that I've built are Win32 applications. I did an earlier demo on this. The link for that will also be in the description for this video. Okay, great. We've got a UI flow which can go out on the web, pass the uh, from currency the to currency and get the value for me. Now let's make this useful. Let's go ahead and create an instant flow. I'm gonna call this currency converter and I'm gonna manually trigger this flow. And in manual flows, you can define inputs. So I'm gonna define my first input as from, I'm gonna define my second input as to, this is the from currency, the to currency, and the third input is going to be the amount that I want to convert. Now for the from, I'm going to select a drop down list of options. I'm going to do United States dollars, Canadian dollars, and Indian rupees. So I'm just going to take three scenarios for now. Uh, Indian rupees, the United States dollars, Canadian, no, Canadian dollars. Let's remove this. And that's about it from to amount my inputs are right here now the next thing what I want to do is I want to search for UI flows because I want to trigger the web UI flow so I'm going to pick run a UI flow for the web and in the same environment where I created the UI flow I'm creating the flow so I can see my UI flow I can also go ahead and create a new one right here for this I'm just going to pick my UI flow and uh, if I, the next thing is to pick the web browser, I'm gonna pick Microsoft Edge. And notice how those two input parameters that I defined in Selenium IDE and saved it in my UI flow are recorded right here. Now for the from and to, I'm gonna pick the dynamic content from and the dynamic content to. These are coming from the two parameters that I defined in my instant flow, which are drop down lists of currencies. Now, the next thing what I want to do, once all of this is done, I want to be notified. So I am going to use the notifications uh, connector and I'm going to send myself a mobile notification. So if I'm using this on my mobile device and if I trigger this flow, it will send me a notification. Now I'm going to say the, uh, the amount in the two currency uh, in two, currency is so this is my amount and the amount is going to be I need to multiply so there's a function called there's an expression called multiply so I want to multiply the amount that the user has entered with the with the conversion rate notice conversion rate is showing up as an output parameter right here so I'm going to multiply this with the conversion rate. And one thing to note is that the output parameter is going to be string, multiply expects, expects uh, numbers or floats. So I'm going to typecast this to a float. And this is what my expression looks like if I entered it correct. Let's make sure my expression is right. I'm going to hover on this, multiply. Yep. So all I've done is I've multiplied the to attribute with uh, the 
uh, I've multiplied the two attribute with the output parameter that I'm going to get, which is the conversion rate. I will also put this expression in the description. All right, done with all of this. Let's go ahead, save the flow. And of course, I'm using the two attribute from the UI flow. I could have also used it from the trigger. It's going to be one and the same. I'm going to go ahead, run my flow. So assume I'm on my mobile device or I'm on my web browser. I'm going to manually trigger this flow. I'm going to convert from USD to Canadian dollars. Let's say I have 100 US dollars and I want to know what's the value in Canadian dollars. I'm going to run my flow and now observe what's going to happen. It's going to open up Microsoft Edge Chromium and it should go to Bing.com, should plug in those same input parameters. It ran so quickly that I could hardly capture that, but it, it has gone ahead done the calculation. Now, while this is going on, if I go back to bing.com, because I want to prove that I'm not just, uh, just want to prove it to you that this is actually doing what it is supposed to do. USD to Canadian dollars has a conversion rate of 1.32. I said 100 US dollars, that was my input amount. So this should give me 132 Canadian dollars as my response if everything works fine. Let's see if this works. There you go, the flow is completed. Uh, I can't show you my mobile device, but I have a message which says the amount in Canadian currency is 132. And let's open this and see the exact value or the exact message that has been posted to me on my mobile device using the Power Automate mobile app. Ain't that amazing? Let's go back to this, my UI flow. See my input parameters, USD Canadian, conversion rate 1.32. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. You, know, you can think about a lot more scenarios with UI flows and do subscribe to my channel. I try and do a lot of things around Power Automate and Power Apps and I try to bring new things. So do subscribe to my channel and also uh, you, can, you can post comments and tell me if there is anything specific that you want me to try out. Thank you so much.